Welcome to the FSU Broncos.com Sports Network. We're here with head coach Ken Spencer after the Broncos suffered a 66-50 loss to Winston-Salem State. Uh, coach, can you give us your quick recap of the nice game? Yeah, um, you know, we got off to a super, super slow start uh, during the game. And, you know, that is cost us. You can't, you can't give a good team uh, that kind of start on the road in their own gym and, uh, and expect to have any success. Um, you know, we, we – you know, spotted them 17 points. I think it was 17 to nothing before we could even get a basket. And, you know, we just wasn't focused on what we needed to do and, and the game plan early on. And, um, you know, they jumped on us. And, you know, like a good team does, they jumped on us. And, and um, you know, we, we, fought, we fought there at the end, you know, in the second half trying to recover, coming, at, coming back after halftime. Um, but, you know, it was just, we just dug ourselves so big of a hole we couldn't recover. Okay. After being down 33-17 at halftime, what was your message? Um, during the break? Well, there, there, there's no 16-point plays. You know, we just got to be able to go out there and get stops, what we call Broncos, getting three stops in a row and, and continue to try to get those and then chip away at the lead, chip away every four minutes, just chip away at that lead and then cut it down. And then, you know, right there at the end with about four minutes left, I think three minutes left in the game, we had two free throws that could have cut it to eight points uh, right there and we could have made a run right there at the end, you know, to make it a little different in the ball game. They ended up making their free throws at the end, and you know that was the, that was the end result. But digging that hole early really hurt us. Now we did match them uh, point by point in the second half, 33 to 33. Uh, but our biggest performance tonight was Jaquel Richmond with 15 and Denzel Hodge with 10. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, again, you know, when we come out, we came out the first half, and I think we shot four for 29 from the field. You know, those guys got it going a little bit in the second half. Was able to make. I think Denzel made a couple threes. And, and Jaquel made some baskets going to the hole. And we were able to get to the free throw line some, too, as well. I think we got there 21 times. But, um, again, digging that hole early, man, really hurt us. And but I was proud of our guys, you know, to keep fighting. They never quit. They never gave up. Um, you know, gave us an opportunity right there at the end to cut that thing down. They defended, you know. And, and Winston did a good job of spreading us out there at the end and, and making their free throws to seal the game. Okay. Now that we put this game behind us, what do we do to, to prepare for Shaw University? coming in next Wednesday for senior night? Well, of course, Shaw is probably one of the best teams in the league, regardless, and, and maybe the most talented team in the league. So we got to put this game behind us and, and put this thing away. And uh, we'll be in the confines of our own gym in Capable Arena, and uh, hopefully that will help us out a lot, especially on senior night. We should have a big crowd in there supporting these guys. And, um, you know, we'll be prepared. We'll be prepared. The guys were prepared tonight. We just wasn't mentally where we needed to be. Thank you very much, Coach.